firing at us. They should be uh, anywhere around us. We can't see them. In the northern Gulf of California, the sea is teeming with life. However, these waters have become a death trap to the animals that live here due to the illegal nets. Sea Shepherd's Milagro campaign puts us in between poaching and the murder of marine wildlife, such as the world's most endangered marine mammal, the vaquita. For the last three years, Sea Shepherd have been an inconvenience. This year, we became a problem for poachers. We've pulled in more nets than ever, more than the other three campaigns combined. We really fought back and hit them hard. Milagro 4 saw more retaliation than ever. Our drones being shot down, ships being shot at, Molotov cocktails thrown at us. And the reason for that is we are having such a big impact. As part of our partnership with Mexico, we now have hosting authorities on board. This allows us to process nets more efficiently while improving security. We took all three cutters to the Sea of Cortez, each ship pulling more than 100 nets. That moment that we seen the net and the sonar, clear as anything on our screen, that was completely game changing for us. We can pull 10 nets a day on a normal day. We're pulling in nets all day. It doesn't stop. Once we find a gill net, it's a race against time to get every single animal free. Once we take it out of the ocean, that animal is dying. We need to get it back in as quickly as we can. Good. All right. We got a long line and a net at the same time. And this net also appears to be full of live totoaba. Every now and again, we get a net that is completely full of alive animals. Whenever we put lives back that would have otherwise been murdered, the feeling we get is something more than rewarding. It's something entirely different. Whoa! We free animals and destroy nets. That is the essence of direct action, is the Milagro campaign. By being here, we are making a difference for numerous critically endangered species, as well as the vaquita. Without working with the local government, the help of local legal fishermen, and without our supporters, none of this would have been possible. We're going to continue coming here, and we're going to continue fighting this fight. <laughs>